the principalities and the powers. By the church. We are the church. And we get what's up. We are the church. We are the We've been praying in English. I want a prayer in three, and I'm going to ask Prophet uh, Osubempa to uh, pray in three uh, so that the cameras, uh, the radio stations will, cap will capture uh, that one.
us through this land. And may the person and the people that God has appointed, they must sit in the place of authority and power. We bless the name of Jesus. And please enjoy the prayer time in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Put your hands together for our Apostle General. It has been a blessing. And, and I think that at this point, we will just go into a period of prayer. I would crave your indulgence that you all remain standing. We are all going to pray. There are three prayers we are going to pray. And we will all stretch forth our hands to His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. And each of the prayers will be led by one person. However, the fathers would surround His Excellency. So His Excellency, the readers of respect, we could step forward a bit. And you could have the fathers surround him. The first prayer is a prayer for the divine protection, the health and safety of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, his family, and the entire campaign team across the 276 Now this prayer is going to be led by the first vice chairman, of the GPCC, the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council. Reverend Gordon Kise, but I want you all to connect your faith under this anointing and have the fathers around him as Reverend Gideon. Would you please stretch your hands? Unity in prayer.
protection. He is held all of us can we say his health. Number two, his safety. Number three, his protection. Shall we pray now?
your son. Yes, Lord. His name is John. Yes, Lord. A name which means God is gracious. Yes, Lord. Lord, show your son your graciousness. Yes, Touch him with the gift of your spirit. Yes, From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Yes, Let that blood that flowed on cover and circle him. Yes, Let the power of the Holy Spirit fill him. Yes, that filled with your spirit, you will be guided by your mercy, your wisdom, and every successful. Lord, then every word he speaks be directed by you. Every action be directed by your spirit. Let all that he does be to your glory and for the good of his people. For we have made our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who alone lives with you and the Holy Spirit, for you are one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In this atmosphere of prayer, we're going to have our third prayer, which is going to be led by Reverend Ebenezer Mahwe. It's a prayer for the will and purposes of Christ to be established before, during, and after the December 7th election, and for the deliverance, liberty, prosperity, and peace of God.
the one that was in Jeddah, to deliver a prophetic mandate into the life of His Excellency. And so His Excellency with the greatest of respect, let us have the prophetic mandate delivered into Him. And let the Father stay hand on Him. Thank you very much for this corporate anointing here. But I want to honor the Archbishop uh, Papa Danka Williams. Um, he's represented here heavily uh, by his sons. Uh, the chairman of the Bishop's Conference is here. Bishop Obodai uh, is here with me. And then we, we've been praying in English. I want a prayer in three, and I'm going to ask Prophet uh, Osu Benpa to uh, pray in three uh, so that the cameras. Radio stations will come, will capture uh, that one.